This playthrough is rated E10+. I don't like the desert or sand. It's rough and coarse and gets everywhere, but so can we. Greetings and salutations viewers while we're back here with another episode of Front Mission Gun Hazard. In the last episode, we traveled the desert, finally went through the mobile, mobile fortress galleon, found a new ally, and now we're continuing through our journey. Hopefully the desert doesn't make us go crazy or see things. But anyway, let's head on to the Dahana Highland. Let's see what awaits us inside. Alright, let's, uh, nope, I don't need an outfit. Oh, actually, I want to show off the outfit. Uh, last episode, we got a new enemy uh, character in Leuven, the bomber. Uh, he's terrible. So, the problem with Leuven is the, he lobs um, bombs in combat, and it doesn't matter if it's friend or foe. So, there's a high chance that, yeah, you might damage the enemies, but you also might damage yourself in the process he's and because of the way the ai works it's not very he's not very good unfortunately the character is fine but the the but he himself is not useful in combat I, personally so i would avoid him so yeah it's uh lubin's bonzer the jester lobs mines at short distances though these technically are just time delayed bombs unfortunately there's no discrimination between friend or four more often than not lubin's attack will just end up taking a nice chunk off your own life bar probably the worst character in the entire game avoid like the plague so we're never going to use him so sorry about that we'll just stick with Brenda for now. Alright, so resupply. And deploy. Another battlefield. They're firing at us! I'd expect so. You become a threat to them the second you destroy Galleon. Galleon, yes. This is far too dangerous. I'm going to have to get down and fight them. Alright. All right, let's take on these guys. So this map's pretty straightforward. Just go to the right. So um, there's uh, two enemies here, the uh, uh, Mongoose uh, Fighters and Guidance System Bonzers. The Guidance System Bonzers are not super difficult, but they, they drop a... Uh, 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 sorry, no drop. They, uh, they give you a lot of experience. So... Oops. All right, take out these... I probably should switch to my uh, shotgun weapon for a while. That might be might be a way to get some more damage. Then again, my napalm's got a quite a good percentage right now. Actually, let me keep keep going forward. I wanna I wanna get I wanna get some guidance missile max destroyed so I can because uh, they drop like they they give you like 120 experience per per kill so. Yeah, you can't run away now there, buddy. You can't get away from me. Oh, well, all right. He runs into the corner there, so you can't even get away. So I don't think there's any uh, items. There might be well, There might be items on replay throughs, maybe, or something like that. But uh, let's, uh, I think if we go too far, we'll uh, activate the next area. I think it's after this, this uh, section up ahead. Because this one's pretty straightforward. Just go right till you win. There we go. Alright, can we get anyone else to drop down? I mean, I'm not going to grind for it. It's just if I can fight some more dudes. Nah, I might have actually killed everyone. Alright, never mind. Let us go on. Go forward to battle. Careful! I'm picking up incoming cruise missiles! Damn it! They're headed straight for me! Oh, uh, we're doomed. No! What the? What is that thing? Looks like a walking shield mech. Well, I think we can call that a success. Now, if I could just stabilize the mutual variations at the point of impact. What the hell? What kind of machine is that? Like I said, it looks like a shield bonzer. That's the first time I've seen a bonzer stand up to a direct hit from a cruise missile. Heh <laughs> of course. This shield's designed to withstand anything. Bullets, vessels, beams, you'll name it. Who are you? Hmm, oh, that's right. I haven't introduced myself. Dr. Sakata, shield engineer, you caught me in the process of testing my basis creation. The Sakata shield! Are you with... 
No, I'm neutral. I'm a man of science, not of war. Then why did you protect me? Never been a fan of senseless death, me. That's why I built the ultimate in defensive equipment. We could use someone like you. Would you join us? You want to drag me into your worthless battles? Well... Forget it! I've still got a mountain of data to get through. Let me know if you find any good beam weapons, will you? I've been dying to match my shield against them. Wait! Well, there he goes. And that's it for the mission. Yeah, we run into Sakata and uh, get through it. So, yeah, not too many kills. So I got a little extra money. All right, Renegade's level. That doesn't matter because we still haven't been able to upgrade our equipment. Too close for comfort. So who's this Sakata guy? Beats me. He seems friendly enough, though. Hey, there's plenty of nuts haunting the battlefield these days. Look at yourselves. Give me a break. If anybody's a nut around here, it's you. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sure, we're all crazy. Hell, not just us, the whole world's gone mad. Feels like it to me, anyway. I know what you mean. You want a prediction? Keep on fighting and the day will come when you face that insanity head on. Ha! Huh. Your predictions are worthless. Yep. You're absolutely right. Dot, dot, dot. What? But anyway, we unlock the shop, which is a really good shop, mainly because all the all the items in here are 10% off. So if you need to find something at a little bit of a discount, this is the place to go. Unfortunately, you can only buy so much stuff here because of the way that the game works in terms of how shops buy stuff. But anything here is worth buying. So, so if you want to buy mechs or stuff that you could afford later on, this is the place to go to get it now. So... All right, let's do some selling because we want to clean out our inventory a bit. So let's sell our old mech. Let's sell our old the uh, veneer units. Let's sell our shield units. Uh, let's sell our yeah. Let's sell our old Vulcan and uh, sh shotgun. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we want to sell the whole homing missiles. Um, and yeah, the 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 percentage of like using the missile to get to unlock its maximum potential it's based off just the item or it's based off you not the item itself so you could sell the item and then if you wanted to buy it back for example you could and you'd still have the same percentage on it so oh by the way the homing missiles uses the same item uh restoration so if you have homing missiles in your inventory uh, uh the ammo then both homing missile like if you put the homing missile one and two um, it would have its own inventory, but if you filled it up, it would use it from that same pile. So that's why I don't want to have multiple homing missiles in my special inventory. I'd rather have something like a bazooka or something like that. So, so let's sell that one. All right, let's see. And uh, don't want to sell that. But okay, so let's go ahead and buy a. Uh, so this would be a good place to go back to to refill on fuel and uh, ammo later on in the game. So let's buy homing missile ammo. Okay, so one new thing we have here is we now have access to the Shield 3, so I'm going to go and buy that. Let me equip that really quick, because the old Shield 2 sells for quite a bit. So this is this is another case of it just defends against a blocks more damage, and it's a bit bigger too, as you can tell. Okay, maybe it's not bigger. So. Okay, it is, it's shorter, but it still blocks more damage, so... So maybe I, I was looking at it earlier. It's like I thought it looked bigger, but then it was like, no, it's actually it actually loses a bit of a spot there. But I still want it because of the how much damage it can block. So, oh well. Oh yeah, he said uh, Safad's men. I've been expecting you is what the shopkeeper says. So, all right. So uh, let's see. Oh yeah, you can buy uh, Luvin's next uh, mech here if you really wanted to, but I'm not gonna use them, so don't worry about that. Uh, let's see. Nah, I don't want to upgrade in my stuff. I already bought that. Uh, let's see if we have enough reps, because we're actually going to need these for the next mission. Like, very possibly. I don't think I'll die, but uh, you never know, so. Uh, let's see. Do I want to buy the next dash unit? Could buy the next shotgun, maybe. I'm just trying to decide if I want to buy uh, the bazooka or, like, 
let me look at my uh, Mac really quick. Let's see what uh, how my situation's going. How's my weapon? Yeah, we're at a hundred percent now with that. Mm, so fifty-six. Let me save it really quick. Whoops. I meant to save it on the top. Nah, it doesn't really matter. Not in this case anyway. So. Let me buy the let me buy the shotgun and see if that's if I want to uh, do that now or not. All right. Because depending on how things go, this might be the one I wanna I wanna uh, swap to for a while. So yeah, I do lose a little bit of uh, actual damage, but the thing is, is if I get up close to them, I can get you know a ton of damage that way. So. Yeah, let's, let's boost that up for a while. Okay. Do I want to keep the hard punch or do I want to... I could, uh... Eh, you know what? Let's actually keep the hard punch. I mean, I want another weapon, but I think I think we'll be fine with that, so... Okay. I think we're good. Oh, yeah. For this next mission up ahead, you want a, you want a Vernier, too. You, know, you can't... I don't think you can get through it without it. I think you need to have it, so... Uh, I'll hold off on the dashing. I don't need it right now, and I can always come back and buy this later. So, all right, well, let's head on to the next mission. All right, let's launch and resupply. Fort Navarro is just beyond this cliff. What are we waiting for? Let's go. It's not quite that easy. There's a whole garrison station here. They'll shoot us to pieces if we just fly over on over. Got any other suggestions? We drop off here and climb up in our bonzers. If we raise enough hell in there, Brenda can slip through while we've got their attention. Can't have this young lady doing anything dangerous, you know, can we? What do you think, Albert? We're fresh out of alternatives. Let's give it a shot. Good luck. Good luck. Sorry, I can't do the Star Fox though. All right, so uh, Al, uh, we've got to destroy their defenses as we scale the cliff. It's going to be a hell of a job. All right, so for this fight, I want to avoid uh, fight uh, running across, or I, I want to avoid taking my time on this because of uh, there's a boss in this uh, map. So I want to just uh, get up as far as I can to the uh, next destination. Whoop. I'm trying not to take as many, take as few hits as I can. So I'm probably going to get little to no experience for this level just because I don't want to drag out my. Um, Whoops. Uh, so this level has, uh, sorry, has a grenade bonzers, commando bonzers, and gun emplacements is what we've got here. Uh, ah, I need to use my shields. I'm just so bad about using it, you know, and it's really, it, they really are useful for this spot, so it's just, you know. Okay. No, I have to go all the way on the other side. No, stop running in to stop. I need to have myself at, at full health. Or at least hopefully. Or at least a decent amount of health. There we go. Alright, let's see. Where do we need to go now? Okay, yep. Okay, so go left, or right, I mean. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna take out just the gun placements while I'm doing this. Or not. Guy, yeah, I forgot how fast the shotgun could be. It's just you have to wait for the reload time on this, though, so. Ugh. I think I just need, yep, just keep going up. Get out of my way. Yeah, the uh, napalm will take. I, I still believe the napalm is still one of the better uh, sub weapons of the game, but in some situations, the shotgun. Re what the? One Vonzer is against. Uh, one Vonzer against the entire garrison? This guy's out of his mind. I'll put a stop to it. All right, this guy is the uh, vulture. He's got two armor. He's got he drops 400 experience, 400 cash, and he's got a handgun, grenade spray, and unguided missiles. So the way you hurt him is his leg unit right there. So it's kind of hard to hit his legs, as you can see there. You can't destroy them. Oh, ouch. 
You can destroy the, uh, um... Uh, whoops. Yeah, his, his rotors can hurt you. Whoa! Um... Ah. Yeah, the problem with this, uh, with the homing missiles here is it's hard to, uh, um, get his legs. Whoop! Yeah, this guy can really do a lot of damage to you if you're not crazy, uh, not careful. Uh, ah! I don't remember to use my shield! Yeah, you, got, you can only hit him in the legs, by the way. Gotta be careful about that. Yeah, unfortunately, the, uh... Missiles are missiles are not as useful here just because of oh whoa okay ah no he's got me in a bad spot all right yeah better uh, block his attacks oh wait uh oh more missiles Woo. I like the I like the music for this area very nice or for the boss fight. Yeah, you can hit his legs, and you can also hit his rotor, too. By the way, we got him. It can't be! My vulture! Oh, I was actually expecting to take a ton more damage for this place. Oh, well. I was worried, because this guy, uh, well, it was the first time I played this game in a while, took quite a bit of damage, but I guess maybe the shotgun is more OP than I realized. Brenda, where are you? Right below you. I'll be there soon. And that's it. Yeah. So, for some reason, I thought this guy was going to do a ton more damage to me. Oh, well. I mean, he still did a decent amount of damage, but... But I'm actually surprised I did as well as I did. I guess I could have messed around killing more dudes, you know, just to get more experience, but... Alright. Thanks. I had a smooth flight thanks to you. Wish I could say the same. Hey, things turned out fine and dandy. Shall we? I like Luvin, even if I don't like, uh... Even though I don't like um, uh, his his actual like in-game like use, you know. So, anyway, let's head on to Mount Howler. All right, this one's pretty straightforward too. So, uh, we'll leave the shot. Actually, we'll leave the shotgun on so I can start uh, building that up a bit. Yeah. Okay. And we'll keep using uh, Brenda. I really do need to find another. I mean, the hard punch is good. I just keep forgetting to use it, so. Enemy units, let's check it out. Yeah, this is definitely a gr uh, a place to get like experience and money. So this place has attack monsters, gun emplacements, small gun emplacements, and sweeper drones. And yeah, just go go right and kill things basically. So this is a experience slash get some money level. I would say this is a good place to grind. I would just say it's it's that's what it's designed for, so. Oh, whoa. Ha, take a missile to the face. Oh, there's the little guy. Oh, I already destroyed it. Never mind. Ah! <laughs> I'm so bad about running into things. I, I could easily block it. Oh, well, that one because of the, the way the shield works. Ah, oh, what? Okay. Yeah, the only problem with the homing missiles is they have a little bit of a weird arc sometimes, depending on where you where you shoot it from. That's, I don't think there's any items in this floor either, so it's just might as well destroy everything to get to get the level since I'm almost at level mode anyway. I forgot how useful the shotgun was. I, I, it is the most use, I mean, outside of the napalm, which does, I think does the most, can do the most damage in the game. The shotgun is still the most useful sub weapon overall, because in terms of you don't have to find it, you can just eventually buy it. But the napalm gun, you have to find them over the course of the game. They're basically that like little, little secret, like kind of uh, bonus you find later on. You're like, oh, I found it. Yay. You know, that type of thing. So Anyway, yep, we're done. Yeah, pretty straightforward level. Nothing to it. All right. And gain a decent amount of experience. All right, we are level 12 now. And now we can buy the laser two, decoy two, and wireless gun pod two. 
for that. And we got 30 more HP outside of whatever we get from just leveling up our mech. Well done. Now have a little break. All right. Anyway, let's head on to Mount uh, Umtarl. Umtarl is another... Uh... Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's the next section after this. So Umtarl is another straightforward one. However, this, this one has a... Uh, it's an auto-scroller map, so... Um, you can fight guidance sponsors here, mongoose sponsors, small gun emplacements, mines, and gun traps. Uh, and there's a, a couple of heals here and a bullet rest restoration at this point too. So, so I might, uh, might hold off on that then, uh, or hold off on uh, resup uh, resupplying. The more you scrap, the better our pay. Good luck. A, bank, a minefield! Damn it! There's no other way around. Seriously, you, you don't you don't think there's a way around it? Yeah, see, now it auto scrolls. So let's see. And we yeah, it should be most of them should be on the way, like uh, the healing and stuff like that. Whoop. Yeah, I got a heal there. See, and there's the, I think, oh, no, <laughs> I missed it. Oh, well, that's fine. Whatever, it's not a big deal. There's the. Grab more heal. Yeah, not a very good place for level grinding just because, you know, you have to keep moving the whole time. And there we go. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Another quick, quick and easy, painless one. I mean, it wouldn't be. I guess it wouldn't be a bad place to uh, to keep redoing over and over again, just because of the whole um, uh, being able to get free heals basically every time so all right now we unlock uh, the next section nor nor uh fort navro or navarro or however you want to pronounce it so this one's another one of those that has uh, a uh um well i mean it's the end of the level so this one's gonna be another like mini dungeon so let me go back to the shop really quick and sell my or uh refill much I didn't even have to really use anything did I so now nah, I don't want to sell the napalm gun now nah, I guess I'll just buy uh, buy more fuel and uh, since I'm here and more uh, humping missiles that's the time the money I might go ahead and go and buy the the dash unit too Okay, and then let's uh, sell that, outfit it. Basically, uh, and just a higher dashing it means I can go a bit faster and stuff like that, so. Nothing too crazy. I mean, if you wanted to avoid buying a, a secondary dash unit or less, or not buying the shields or whatever, that'd be, that'd be fine, so. All right, let's go ahead and uh, save it again. All right, this one can be kind of tough as well, so make sure you have full heal and uh, and everything before you go inside this place because this is the end of the stage. So, all right, let's head on to Fort Navarro. Launch up, resupply. All right, let's deploy. Well, here we are, Fort Navarro. That cannon's somewhere inside this base. I thought you said it wasn't complete yet. At the time I was captured, sure. That may no longer be the case. We gotta hurry! They might already be ready to fire! Everybody's counting on us. Let's go! How are we gonna get in? There's a series of air vents set into the mountainside. At least one of them ought to be connected to the area housing the part particle cannon. Destroy it and make your way into the base. Understood. All right, so this place has uh, mongoose bonzers, gun traps, sweeper drones, commander bonzers, and wall drones. And uh, you can also get three items in here, a healing item, a uh, weapon, and $1,000 if you can find it. 
So try not to take too much damage, because since it's the end of the map, we'll be uh, fighting a boss, so. So try, yeah, just try not to rush it. Unlike me, who keeps getting hit by everything under the sun. Bath. Block those attacks, my man. So just keep it a lookout for the uh, items. I'm trying to save my um, uh, my missiles and stuff like that. So. Oh nope. I'll just ignore you. Alright, if I keep clicking, uh, I'm checking for items and stuff like that, so. It might be the next part of the map I'm thinking of. Ooh, nice. Destroy all the environment. You can't block with your shields if they're already gone. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, this uh, you might lose quite a bit of health by the by on the way here. So. Whoop. so just be careful about that. Luckily, these guys aren't doing aren't doing a ton of damage to me. I just let him hit me in the face, man. I'm just like, here you go, take it. Just, just hit, hit me. All right. Did I, oh, I, I must have missed one of the laser weapons. Uh, the laser weapons are those big things, by the way. I must have missed that one in the beginning. Hold on, let me go back to that. I thought I destroyed them all. Maybe I was uh, having so much fun I uh, missed it. Let's see. No, I got them all. Okay, just making sure. Oop. Oh, ran out of ammo. Well, let me destroy everything. Maybe, uh,. Because we're just basically just destroy those big old uh, um, these big things here. These are the laser weapons, by the way. Whoa! I keep destroying guys like right in front of me, so I always take the uh, the damage, whatever. All right. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was wondering where the location was. I was like, it's, I thought it was around here somewhere. Uh-oh. Intruder alert in the main area shaft. No. Oh. Call you all head units. Destroy block D immediately. Protect the can at all costs. Looks like I hit pay dirt. All right. But yeah, we're in the second part of this section where we're actually in the facility itself. Shield doesn't work for you if I hit you from above. Rain from above. <coughs> Luckily, this area has a um, uh, heal item in here, because otherwise this would be a bit uh, obtuse. Use your shield, dang it. Dang it. All right. Yep, just keep going straight. Ah, oh, stop it. Stop hitting everything, my man. Why am I so bad about blocking and dodging stuff? This is why it took me forever to beat Devil May Cry 3. Actually, Devil May Cry 3 is actually pretty hard. Some of the other ones were actually easier. I mean, I eventually beat Devil May Cry 3. It's just, it was a harder game. Whoop. Right, let's go up there so we can grab an item. 
Do I have to get out of the... Okay, I didn't think I had to get out of for that one. There's the money. Show me the money! All right, thousand dollars. Yeah, we could use that. Hopefully I can find that uh, item by the time. Before, uh... Before I have to heal. I think it's... Ah, I could have blocked it with my shield. Why am I not doing it? Fine, I'll just I'll just take the hits. There you go, help. That'll make up for all my folly. I, I guess the game knew that sometimes people who are gonna play these games are gonna be not very, not. <laughs> uh, you know, normally when a bug me. But for some reason, it's bugging me that I'm, like, getting hit by every single thing, even though I can handle it. And I got healing, so it's not like I don't have a way to protect myself. It's just, you know... It's just, uh... I just... Oh! I did the explosion, too. Alright, up we go. Watch out, man. I'm a man with a plan. Okay, and the other one's over here. Might try to avoid uh, maybe the rest of the guys after this. All right, let's grab the item here. Come on. There we go. <laughs> anyway, we get the bazooka. Finally got a bazooka. But I can't equip it now. I mean, I could have bought the bazooka too. But, which I probably will eventually. Because it is a decent weapon. You just, you just have to aim it forward, you know. When hitting when hitting things. There we go. Alright, should be almost out of here. Or almost to the next, uh, the boss encounter. For this. Oh, great. I don't know why I've been trying to destroy everything here. I could have easily avoided most of this stuff. Or at least try to. Got him, uh, I, I've been using the napalm so long, I, I'd forgotten how. Like, even though I told you at the beginning of the game, the shotguns are the most useful, one of the most useful sub weapons, yet, or main primary weapons, but I just forget how useful it is. So, no, it's just, yeah, it's just charge up. Go! There we go. Alright. Now what? What the? There it is. This is Albert. I've located the particle cannon. Looks like it's nearly complete. Damn it! Keep away from the cannon! Begin charging! Are they going to. Brenda, pull out! They're aiming for the tadpole! Yeah! Brenda, everything all right? Dot, dot, dot. Brenda! You, you bastards! You killed my most useful character. Defend that cannon to the death! So anyway, we have to uh, take out the missile, but we're gonna get attacked by like a million dudes at the time, so let's just keep ch blasting it. The only problem is being attacked by like a million dudes while it happens, but luckily, yeah, just make sure you're not in front of the cannon, too. Albert, come in! You're alive! Yeah, amazingly enough. The ship's heavily damaged, though. What's the situation? The cannon's history. I'm pulling out. I understood. There ought to be an exit somewhere. Check around your vicinity. Roger. Yeah, this boss actually isn't that tough. You just have to get behind the particle cannon and shoot it, so hopefully you're not, like right next to it when it fires its cannon, so. What the? There you are. What have you done to my cannon? Eh? We were on the cusp of destroying the Kazala Dam. Victory was nearly ours, but you Do you know what kind of suffering you'd be unleashing? 
how many lives you destroyed, to, even if that was enough to end this war. <laughs> you poor ignorant thief. Who said we wanted to end it? Destroying that dam would have set the whole region ablaze. Yeah, I probably would have, because water's, water's a thing to fight for. What? Enough talk. Now you pay for your meddling with your life. All right, real boss time against the uh, commander himself and his, uh, his mech. All right, so to hit him, you need to hit him in the headpiece. Yeah, I got to watch out. Ah! Got to watch out for his uh, missile barrage. Yeah, he'll uh, shoot missiles at you. He'll shoot his big cannon at you. Let's see if I can block that off. Nope. Yeah, this one's kind of like one of those where you can either de de um, oops. Actually, I've almost beaten him with the missiles. There we go. Got him. I inconceivable. I don't think you know what that word thinks it does. You mean what that thinking means? My plans undone by one filthy merc. Ah! Yeah, he's not super tough. It's a fun fight, though. Although I probably was a little bit powerful because of the homie missiles almost being maxed out. And uh, look at all that money. And uh, having the shotgun, so. But, yeah. I'm probably a little over level, too, I bet. But I, it's not like I really grinded for levels or anything like that. So. Yeah, we got a lot of experience and a lot of money for this level. Uh, so you should gain at least a level, if not a couple. At level 13, we get access to the Upward Vulcan 3, Spark Shot 2, and the, a new mech, the Silver Fang, whenever we can actually buy it. So, Yeah, I didn't even use Brenda at all during this fight, which you really couldn't anyway. So, Yeah, it's like it's weird bringing Brenda along in areas like that because you really can't use her inside bases because of the way it works. So I could have used someone else, but then I would have had to buy their mech and all the time with that. So, Welcome back. How's it look? Well... I avoided the brunt of the beam with the circuitry is toast. It'll take time to fix. Albert, come in peace. That'll be Commander That'll be Commander Safad. I just received the news. Excellent work. Unfortunately, our carrier took a direct hit in the battle. I don't think it'll last much longer. In that case, return to ASR headquarters for the time being. We owe you a considerable debt. Thanks. Okay, time to head back. Yeah, one time, uh, one of the few times in the mission where we actually have to head back to the main base before we to end the level. So let's head back. Yeah, and you can't go back to the Galleon, unfortunately. Galleon? No. All right, let's head back to ASR headquarters and finish this uh, chapter up. I don't know why it's asking us to, uh, to <laughs> uh, outfit or anything like that. There's nothing going to happen here, so... Yeah, we'll resupply anyway, so... Even though, like I said, there's no combat here. I'm actually being serious. For some reason, it, it acts like that, but even though there's nothing here. Finally. Ugh, I thought I was going to be airsick. The stabilizer's broken, sir. It's not going to ground us, but it'll make life rather uncomfortable. That's it. We're going to have to stop for repairs. We don't have the time. Make the time. We're not going anywhere without a carrier. True. I mean, how would we transport the mechs and everything with that, so... It's Albert! Yeah, save the day. The Conqueror of Fort Navarro! Conqueror? All hail the conquering hero! Da 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 da! The damn safe now, thanks! Three cheers for Albert! That's yeah, nice being, uh, appreciated. Thank God the war's finally over! feel like a real hero. Good luck. That should be the end of the, that affair. Yes. With Fort Navarro gone, the Zoha Alliance will be more reluctant to engage us in future. This may be our chance to open peace negotiations. Sounds like a fine idea to me. Both sides of this conflict have lost too much already. Fighting may not be over tomorrow, but every day we can shave off this war and is a victory in itself. Thank you. I'm glad we were able to help. I have a gift for you. In appreciation of all you've done. That's alright. We were just doing our jobs. Nonsense. I think you'll like it. Come with me. I wonder what he's got in mind. He's, he, he's gonna give us our eternal reward. So what are we doing? And then we crush him by accident. So. 
This is taking forever, guys. Come on. Tick tock, tick tock. Chop chop. What the? This is. Covet. This battleship is my gift to you. Wow. Wow. This makes the old tadpole look downright shabby. Commander. We can't accept this. Don't be ridiculous. With this, with this war nearly over, we have no further use for it. Thanks, Commander. What you need in the future for security and defensive purposes? Unfortunately, we've got to get going. I look forward to hearing from you. And yeah, the tadpole gets an automatic upgrade. Hey! Luvin! Or Luvin? Where do you come from? Got room for one more? We're leaving now. I know, see, I've been thinking. Well, thinking about tagging along with you guys. Think you can just go, come and go whenever you feel like it? Hey, Albert. Something about this war strike you as a little odd. Now that you mention it. What do you mean? Think about it. The Alliance just doesn't have the means to develop advanced large-scale weaponry like that practical particle cannon. Somebody had to have been helping them. Well, when you put it that way... There's got to be more to this. I want to investigate. Investigate, huh? So I figured, why not go with you? You're mercs. You guys get around. Huh. Or, hmm. Well? All right. Don't expect a free ride, though. You're fighting with us. Not a problem at all. Especially with a company as charming as Miss Lockhart. Oh, brother. Remember when there used to be banter and she wasn't, like, getting mad at him for flirting with her? Even though he knows it's all in good jest. Ah, good times. But anyway, let's leave the country. We're done with this job. But now that the three jobs are done, what next? Well, where can we go to next? Are there more jobs available? Or will we go back to an area to defend what we what we so unwrongfully got kicked out of? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission Gun Hazard. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.